Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. The example is we have to find radius of convergence of this power series where the coefficient cn is defined in two different ways. C 2k minus 1. 2k minus 1 represents an odd number. So when suffix is odd, its definition is this one. And when suffix is 2k, 2k means even number, then its definition is this one. So we have to find its radius of convergence. We have a formula. Radius of convergence R is 1 by alpha, where alpha can be calculated in this way. Limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod cn raised to 1 by n. So using this formula of alpha, I will calculate value of alpha first and then we will find the radius of convergence. So let us start to work on alpha. So consider. But see the problem is that we have two different definitions of cn. So we will consider first uh, we will find c with odd suffix. So consider I am going to find its value mod c n is odd number so 2k minus 1 so obviously the power will be 1 by 2k minus 1 okay so what is value of cn what is value of c 2k minus 1 this one so let us put it here 1 by 4 raised to k raised to 1 by 2k minus 1 okay there is no need of mod since there is no any negative number so simply we can write 1 by 4 raised to k raised to 1 by 2k minus 1. Okay, so let us write the next part here. Hmm. So what will I do? Uh, I will take separate separate powers. Power of numerator 1 raised to anything 1 and 4 raised to k but 4 is 2 square. Ready? 4 is 2 square and raised to k. That means simply we can write in this way. So 1 by 2k minus 1. So we know that a raised to n raised to m is a raised to n into m. That means we simply take the product of powers. So this is rule of indices. I will do the same thing here. So 1 by 2 raised to this 2k into 1 by 2k minus 1. That means 2k upon 2k minus 1. So that power is looking complicated. So that's why I'm going to divide numerator and denominator by 2k. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide numerator denominator by 2k. So 1 by 2 raised to, if I divide numerator by 2k, we will have 1. If I divide denominator by 2k, 1 minus 1 by 2k. Getting? But see, we know that it will tend to, it will go to 1 by 2. I'm taking limit and then k tends to infinity. Okay, let me mention as k tends to infinity. So let me do the rough work here. 1 by 2 raised to 1 minus 1, sorry, 1 upon 1 minus. So as k tends to infinity, 1 by 2k tends to 0. k tends to infinity, 1 by 2k will go to 0. So that's why I'm putting its value 0. So let me mention 1 by 1 upon 1 minus 0. So which is equal to 1 by 2. Getting the point, I have solved simply by considering k tends to infinity. So yes, 1 by 1 minus its value 0. So 1 by 1 is 1, so 1 by 2. So value of this one goes to 1 by 2, getting for odd suffix. So we need to work with for even suffix now. So it is going to 1 by 2. Uh, just a minute, let me remove now. So now consider the second case. Consider second case where the suffix is even. So that means 2k. So I should consider rest to 1 by 2k. So this is equal to uh, c2k is 1 by 9 raised to uh, k raised to 1 by 2k. You can take separate powers of numerator denominators. Power of 1 is 1. No need of mod since there is no any negative number. 9 means 2, 3 raised 3 square, 9 means what? 3 square and raised to k, that means 3 raised to 2k, raised to 1 by 2k. So 3 raised to 2k and raised to 1 by 2k, so that 2k, 2k will get cancelled and value is 1 by 3 and obviously it will go to 1 by 3 as k tends to infinity. Since it is constant, no, so it will go to 1 by 3 only. So what we got, uh, let me mention, let us use the formula, then then 
alpha. So the formula of alpha is limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod cn raised to 1 by n. So already we have calculated its value, but we got for uh, n is odd, it goes to 1 by 2. And for n is even, it goes to 1 by 3. But see here, we what we want supremum, we want a maximum value, supremum limit. So it is 1 by 2, obviously. If you compare 1 by 2, 1 by 3, so its value is 1 by 2. So therefore, radius of convergence, radius of convergence are having formula 1 by alpha, alpha is 1 by 2, so 1 by 1 by 2, which is 2. So that's why the radius of convergence is 2. So this is our final answer. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you.